After backpacks, the item of photographic equipment that photographers obsess over more than any other is probably the tripod. I've been a photographer long enough to remember when tripods felt like they were made from scaffolding poles. I'm sure some of you out there who've been kicking around a little while in the old photography scene can remember those days too. Fortunately, the technology, as it has in all areas of photography, has evolved over the years and tripods have come on in leaps and bounds. Uh, but one of the best from a landscape photographer's point of view was the development of carbon fiber in the use of tripods because it meant that, that they were considerably lighter. Now, it used to be the case that those carbon fiber tripods were pretty pricey and like all things in this world once they start getting more popular the price comes down and that has certainly happened with tripods and so while carbon fiber used to be the reserve of the very posh hushed tones tripod manufacturers i'm sure you know who i'm talking about now uh, there are all sorts of companies in this marketplace producing really innovative products so there are now carbon fiber tripods that are priced at their entry level, meaning that everybody can take advantage of the weight savings associated with the material. And the tripod I'm looking at today is the BA225 by KNF. Now the truly awesome thing about this little tripod is definitely its weight. It's unbelievably light what just over one kilogram in fact and i strapped it onto uh, my backpack a few weeks ago to test it take it out and about and you hardly even notice that you've got the thing if like me you kind of travel out with the tripod attached to the backpack but you tend to walk along holding it to save taking off the pack every time you want to take photographs, then you hardly even notice this thing in your hand. It is so unbelievably light. And for such a reasonably priced tripod, it's certainly not lacking in the kind of features that we photographers expect. For instance, you've got the lockable leg positioning clips. So you've got the basic extension, sort of standard size. But if you wanted to go wider because you were doing a low down shot you just push the clip in release it and come out to that kind of extension and then you can raise up the center column and do those nice uh, low level shots the legs utilize this twist and turn style of uh, grip and i was a little bit concerned about this when i got these because my previous tripod was a me photo uh, travel tripod and i found that when those legs got wet they slipped, <laughs> that is the last thing that you want from a tripod, you don't want those legs slipping. And I'm pleased to say that I experienced none of that with these. So there are four lengths in the tripod, got the tiny spindly end down here. And you can of course vary the height in the usual way by only extending a certain number of these sections. Now, this is the way that I transport the tripod because I put it into my uh, protactic bag on the side and these two legs sit in a little slot. But you can, if you want, fold it right up. I'll just demonstrate that now. Let's push all these pins out, fold them round. And then they go up like that. And then you twist the center column to bring that up. And then you've got the super compact mode, which is kind of how you get it. It comes in a little travel bag. Uh, and if you're anything like me, those bags don't see a lot of action. Uh, they kind of come in the bag and then the bag goes on the shelf with all the other tripod bags. Now, when I first got the BA225, I was a little bit worried that it wasn't that tall. Uh, of course, you extend this central column when you get it but what i didn't know was that you can extend it again and there's a second section here and this brings it up to the kind of standard height 
that you'd expect from any tripod. It's got a floating ball head, of course, which you can release uh, and position your camera anywhere you want. There's a little spirit level on there. If you use them, I can't say I ever really do. I tend to just use the leveling line on the camera. The ball head that comes with it is Arca Swiss style, which suits me perfectly because I've got all the, the Peak Design stuff, which is Arca Swiss compatible. There's also a kind of a pseudo panoramic mode here. You can twist it round. It's got one of those sort of degree guides on there. Uh, I don't know anyone has ever used these <laughs> guides on here. I don't know, I apologize. Maybe there are panoramic photographers that use this uh, scale on here all the time. But the build quality on this little tripod is top notch. It feels sturdy as anything. This aluminium is lovely, this machined aluminium here. And you know, it's proper metal where it needs to be and beautiful light carbon fiber elsewhere. Amongst the other notable features on this tripod are the usual kind of detachable monopod leg. So you can unscrew this like so and attach it to the central column, which you uh, unscrew here and then just use this one leg as a monopod and you've got this nice sort of foam section here to hold it with. There's also a little uh, metal hook here, uh, which you can use to put weight on the tripod if you're shooting in windier conditions. You can just hang something like your camera bag or something off here and it will keep the tripod nice and secure. Now, if there are any drawbacks to little carbon fiber tripods like the BA225, it's that the fact that they're so light sometimes goes against them. Uh, and if you're shooting in a quite windy location, you will want to make use of the little uh, weighty hook here to hold everything securely and ensure that your shots are nice and steady when you press the shutter button. Now, I mentioned pricing and the BA225 is currently on sale. I don't know whether this is a release price and uh, the, it will go up, but at the moment uh, it's a hundred bucks thereabouts in the US. Over here in Australia, uh, we don't get pinged too badly with Australia tax, 135 Australian. And I think it represents exceptionally good value for money. It's such a great little tripod. If you're in the market for a little travel tripod and you're sick and tired of lugging around some great big heavy aluminium thing, then give them a look. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.